against a more common character like Kirby. But we'll see. Sure. Okay, so right off the bat, uh, it looks like Danky Kong uh, Kang has ceded ground to Pikachu, but is now, oh, okay, he's just being really aggressive. He wants to be wherever Pikachu's going to be. <laughs> I see. Typically in this matchup, you're looking for the Kirby to take top plat and stay there, uh, or they'll stick to the ground and, uh, you know, just dare the Pikachu to try and come down on them. Absolutely. Uh, Occasionally, though, you see a Kirby like this who is very aggressive and is in your face and is, wants to stick to you. Definitely. Wants to take your power and, and show it to you. <laughs> show it to you. I like that. I, I also like the strategy of Kirby using their uh, sticking under the side platform and just egging out the up tilt, too. You know, Pikachu, Pikachu can... It's tough for Pikachu to beat that strategy. It's tough for pretty much every character to beat that strategy. So Pikachu really just doesn't want to approach whenever he's assuming that uh, position on the stage. Pivot up tilt again under the side platform. And Pikachu going ahead and trying to recover, or I'm sorry, uh, uh, approach. Dang, the forward smash is going to handle it. Now, Russell Sprouts wisely, uh, I was just about to say wisely, not approaching Kirby under the side platform, but he fell victim to that situation once again. I'd like to see some adjustment here. You know, when when you know that you can uh, combo the character to death from whatever situation they're in, uh, even if it's a Kirby sitting under side platform, it can be tempting Yeah. to just run in there yeah. and try and get the hit. You want to be faster. Yeah. You want to believe that you are faster. Yes. <laughs> I honestly don't know how Pikachu is supposed to edge guard either, especially when Kirby is coming from a high, pretty high uh, altitude. Mm -hmm. uh, like, I, I, like, I would say, like, very simply, he needs to read the landing at the very least. But, um, but how does Kirby or how does Pikachu beat out the dare and the nair whenever he's on the way down from recovering? Yeah, you really want to come at Kirby from the side as Pikachu. Uh, you you don't want to try and down, uh, challenge that down air. On yeah. the board now. Russell Sprout's doing, doing a good job avoiding at first. The invisibility. Oh, oh no. no. The Thundershock lock. The the cousin of the laser lock uh, that Fox sometimes falls victim to. Alright, so that was a pretty uh, pretty startling loss from Russell Sprouts. What do you think you can change to, to kind of mix it up, well, to kind of make me maybe take a few more stops? I would say, like like you were saying, he needs to strategize his approaches and, and not simply approach Kirby under the side platform just because he feels pressured by the time clock. He's not pressured under the clock at all right now. He's the one who should be allowing Kirby to come in. Um, and see right here, even uh, there just there, is. Pikachu was on the way down. So don't. Here we go. Like getting a little smarter now and cri forcing Kirby in. It didn't turn out for Pikachu's favor, obviously. Kirby got the Kirby won that neutral, but still, just I like to see the adjustment. Mm -hmm. The runoff there, very smart. And the single up B back to the ledge, keeping it tight. Very brave with the down air. Kirby really wants to e egg out that up tilt now. Oh, the down, down air will take care of it. Russell Sprouts really wants that, that nair. Oh, wow. Kirby actually delayed his third up tilt a little bit, whether it was on purpose or not. But instead of getting a possible shield break out of it, he just got a pretty good combo out of it. Racked up a lot of damage. And that's what you would be looking for from a shield break anyway. Definitely. Wow, the, the, nair, the high nair there uh, from 
<laughs> Coming into contact with Kirby around 2 o'clock on Kirby's uh, head or so. That's, that's actually great positioning. Mm -hmm. Wisely not fighting over the top platform there because Kirby was going underneath with the back air. There well, we the go. up tilt would have been fine there. That forward air. So much trouble with Kirby's areas. He doesn't seem to know what to do. He's just trying to time them. Yeah. Uh, even the back air will there we go. lose to the up tilt. Yeah. Goes for the forward throw. Very, very lackadaisical with the with the edge guard here. Even at this percentage at this stock. One to three. It might be important to there. There we go. Be a little more aggressive with the edge guards and try to get in there with the back air and the up air. Oh, dash attack, getting them in here. Attacking <laughs> place. Three times. Oh, pivot nair. Okay, here we go. Only two stocks to go from Russell Sprouts. One percent off the magic one. Oh, too bad. Ooh, around the up tilt. Oh, that forward smash from Danky King was so scary. Oh, no. We might be seeing a little bit in the way of nerves from Danky King, who uh, has been losing the neutral pretty handily in this last stock. But only due to, to not doing the things that he has been this yeah. entire time. Which is just, you know, sitting back and correctly timing his up updates. Right. And his back airs. Ooh, the <laughs> Pikachu traverses that nair with his own nair. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Kirby really wants to egg uh, Pikachu out. To oh, oh man. no. Just like that. Oh, that was uh, that was rough. 